It's always a great and exciting show when you give away the golden organ. <laughs> really, it's, I can't tell you how excited it makes me to hand that organ to Hugh Laurie and say, there you go, buddy. <laughs> Now, uh, even better, what's happening now is um, the, the, I've been watching this show on uh, the Discovery Network, which is a network not owned by CBS or any of its affiliates. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, they've got this, and they have Shark Week, it's awesome, but they are... Uh... <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. They, uh... Anyway, the, the, uh, the show that I've been watching is called uh, Flying Wild Alaska, and it's about these crazy Alaskan bush pilots who uh, grow up. <laughs> and it airs uh, Friday on the Discovery Network. Take a look at this. Follow through with it. Hey, Mom! What do you call this stuff? Marshalling them in. It's called marshalling, marshalling them in. Please welcome the adorable Ariel Tweedo, everybody. Ariel Tweedo. Hello, Ariel. You look lovely. Thank you. You look absolutely lovely, and welcome to the show. And I, 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 I'm such a fan. Your family owns Era Alaska, yeah. right? The, the yep. airline that the show is about. Yep. Your me and my, si my dad owns it, and then me and my sisters fly, and I'm the cargo girl, and I do, like, answer phones, pick on the passengers, weigh the passengers. Weigh the passengers, you say? Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you have, have to... weigh people, really, when they get on the plane? Yeah, because we have a weight limit. And they lie about their age. Oh, about. all the time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They, yeah they, they, well, sometimes we play jokes on them, they'll be like, my weight's 175, and I'll be like, get on the scale, and they're like, oh no, I'm kidding, I'm like, 200. 200. Yeah. So. I would have, <laughs> see, the thing is, I would have, before I learned how to fly airplanes, I would have lied about my weight before I got on a plane, but now I know what happens if you do that, I wouldn't oh, yeah. do that anymore. And you've seen my mom, my mom has a bullwhip, so if you're like laughing, or like if you lie, you don't want to go. Does your mother whip you with a bullwhip? <laughs> not me. Not me. My, my dad. Hey. Hey. Oh, it's him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, he's here. Yeah, he's a real thing. Well, he's an appliance. <laughs> so, um, do you do you fly the airplanes too? Can you can you fly a plane? Um, I could fly a plane, but I'm working on getting my license. Yeah. See, right there when you <laughs> said that. See if somebody said to me, "Well, I can fly a plane," no, and I'm gonna, I I'd be like, fly, Whoa, no. I, I'm good at the taking off, and I'm good at in the air, but then I, I'm working on my landing skills, and that sort of, <laughs> it's sort of important. You it's sort a of very need <laughs> important part of the flight. Um, I know. I'm it, working on it, though. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it because my younger sister and my older sister have it, so. I'm like, I don't want to be the screw-up daughter. No, if you're not the screw-up. <laughs> you're awesome. And yeah. the, but the flying conditions up there look terrifying. I mean, the weather. How big is this town that you're in? The uh, our village, you know, Cle, It's it's like a mile long. There, how many people live there? About 650, 700. I graduated with about seven people. We're all cousins. Oh. My dating life sucks yeah, well, because I'm not going to go date my cousin, or I'm not going to like. So. Really? Yeah. <laughs> So you, to, in order to, you know, meet a gentleman friend, then you would have to get on a plane and fly. So there's no roads in and out of here. Yeah, there's no right. roads in and out. I would either have to, like, snow machine in the winter on the rivers because it's all right. frozen to the next village over. And, or jump on a plane or... Have you ever snow machined down a river to see a boy? <laughs> you I have, <laughs> haven't you? Yeah. yeah, sorry, Dad. <laughs> I am. And are you, uh, what are you doing in California then? Are you doing stuff for the, for the Flying Wild show? I came here for um, school, and then I just fell in love with being warm. Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and so, so, like, I stay here, and then I go back and help my parents with the right. business, and then I come back and what, you, what are you doing at school here? What are you studying? Um, communication and television film production. Oh, you're in the wrong place I know. For I'm that. horrible at talking. Yeah, I don't yeah. like talking at So all. is that what you want to do then? Do you want a talk show? Because you can have this one. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah. make a deal on you that. You got one. it right now. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> really? Is that what you want to do? A talk like, show? I, I want to do a talk show. If I could do anything where I travel, meet people, talk, and learn about. Well, then you cultures. don't want to do this. Really? Then. No. I know. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm stuck here every night. It's me, the skeleton, and that judgmental bastard. I am. <laughs> Sounds horrible. Uh, it's not good. It's, I mean, I get by. It's as cold as Alaska here, though, mostly. Oh, I know. I'm freezing. Yeah, no, it, we like to keep it cold. It keeps the audience fresh. I, yeah. <laughs> it does. I was going to say something about, like, never mind, I'm not even going to go there, but. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say something about nipple pads because. Oh, no, <laughs> no, I, I, I was 
like I might cut you with one no, of these things. Know. You guys just freezing up here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I was nervous earlier. Ariel, I your know. mother and father are going to be watching this show. No. The entire town of Unicleet. My parents, we have one channel that I... <laughs> they don't have to see <laughs> yeah. You don't? We have like PBS. There's and you wake up in the morning, watch yeah. the news and the weather channel. Right. Then it goes to like Arthur and some other like kid cartoon shows. Oh, that's okay. And, that's good for the and the soap. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> and like the soap operas, and then it goes to like the news again, and then it news, news, news. So there's no CBS. There's no NCIS. My parents, Miami. I, or I told my parents that I was gonna be on here, and they're like, they don't know who I am. Do not they? at all. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's all right. That's really fine. Honestly, no one else does either. You're not alone with that. No. So, um, so that's it. One channel in Uniquely? You could know. Uh, there, there. People are getting to get like cable and like dishes. But you know, it's all going to change like with, with this reality show. That's going to go nuts. Uniquely is going to be like Vegas. <laughs> Doubt it. Yeah, I, people are going to be going there for their crosswind landings. Oh, yeah. I, well, I hope so. Everyone come out there. Like, I want yeah? people to go to... Now, how big place. is this airline that your family runs then? It's pretty big. We have around, like, 75 to 100 planes. Wow. We have a bunch of hawk pilots. My mom, like, hires everybody. Yeah, so yeah. You, uh, part of the criteria to fly for Air yeah, Alaska to is to be good looking. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I have right. two sisters. And then my dad, like, we don't... Me and my sisters are probably the only girls, like, in the northwest Alaska that aren't married or dating anyone. Right. It's like, what is wrong with you girls? Something is, but I haven't figured it out yet. But <laughs> well, maybe you're just saving yourself for the right hot pilot. Yeah. Yeah. I know I am. <laughs> I am. I'm, I'm surprised that you don't have your license, so you can land down here in California. It's easy. Well, when I say easy, you know, yeah. it's, uh, it's you easier than... You have your license. I do, That's yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't, uh, I, I only learned because I was frightened of flying. That's the only reason I actually got into flying, so I was terrified of it, and I, I couldn't get in an airplane, and then uh, I thought, well, if I learn to fly, then that'll help. Did it? Yeah, I bet. Would yeah, you yeah. jump in one with me? I would fly you around a little bit, yeah, yeah, but I would insist that I do the landing. Uh, until you I'll feel take more... take off and then you You land. can do the takeoff and I would do the landing, I that's insist cool. on that. But that's, that's a lovely thing to do. I wouldn't fly up in Alaska, it's too, fr it's too scary. I I don't, not I'm not in ready the summer. For Right? The summer is like light, 24 hours, it's not that windy. And Do you... <laughs> see, not that windy isn't a proper weather report, really. Like, if somebody calls you on the... You, they call you on the Unicom when you're there, like the pilots the call Unicom? it. The Unicom? Yeah, Unicom. It's a thing that pilots use. <laughs> Oh, really? Well, what I've heard of an intercom. It, no, it, it's kind of like an intercom, except it's a radio. And uh, it's. <laughs> and the, the pilots will. Is it a towered airport? Is there a tower at the airport in Unicorn? No. Right, so they come on the radio, right? Yeah. And the radio does we the talk, whole thing. Me and my mom talk on the radio all the time, like to the pilots, but never have heard of it. Yeah, that's probably a, that's probably a Unicorn. Yeah, that sounds like a Unicorn. <laughs> Basically, usually it's just the guys going, yeah, it's all right, it's windy, yeah. come on in. No, there's fine. like a pilot BS channel that only the pilots, that's my no, favorite No, this is the BS channel. Ah. <laughs> no, that's like my whole, like my favorite thing about flying is like the talking on the radio. Oh, really? When you're in there, because you get the cool headsets. Yes, and then you yes, get you to do. just talk. Oh, it's great. I love it. No, I like it. I like the idea of, you know, doing something where I actually sound cool for a minute. Even, even if I'm terrified, you have to go, yeah, everyone's all right. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> Did you ever hear somebody in the radio and think, oh, I really want to meet them because of their voice? On the radio? Yeah, you know, before you met a pilot, you think you hear his voice and you think... Oh, my mm. God, and then they're like, you're just like... Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I, I've done that because so many, like, great DJs are, they have hot voices and mm. they're, like, funny and whatever. And then you see them in person, they're like, that's why you're on the radio. Yeah, that's the radio. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's, it's true. That's why I'm on at 12.30. It's, it's a cup. That's amazing. Yeah, it's a, you've got a cup there too, but this is a snake cup. It's a yeah. Freudian thing. Let me see. Uh, what, I've always wondered like, if it's actually water, because you see all these like talk shows. Yeah. <laughs> It's it actually is. water. Yeah. I know. I thought there was... Well, be honest. When you saw this place, you thought, man, he's not kidding. It really I is a dump. Like, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't even believe I'm here. This is great. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. 
How are they going to keep you down in the farm now that I you've know. seen Perry? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, I'm no turning back now. Nah, just, come on. You love it up there. I know. You? I do love it up there. It's great. My family's amazing. My sisters, all my cousins, my grandma. Very, very, I, I think your father's a very impressive man oh. when I watch that documentary. He's, he's really he, quite So selfish. you, I, I talk to my dad every day, and every day I learn something from him. He's so amazing. And yeah. so is my mom. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, because yeah. I'm always like talking about my dad. Your mom is the one who said that the ice, ice road, road truckers were... Rocky Dinga. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> My mom's like biggest balls ever. She's she's so strong. I mean, she doesn't have the biggest balls. No, no, ever. I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, oh, no. my mom's gonna shoot me in my face. No, you're sorry. Right. She's not gonna see it. You're good. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. No, I'm persuading them. They have to stay up and watch it tonight. I'm like, come on. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll send them a DVD or something. Yeah. Uh, we're, we? out, we're out of time here, Ariel. Oh, Do you, uh, mouth organ or awkward pause? Um. Oh. Remember the goat. <laughs> The golden harmonica has gone away, but we probably have another one if you can play. I, I can't play. I can't, I can't play a, a recorder. Right. I could play a sealskin drum. <laughs> That's, That's about it. That, that'll work in maybe Venice Beach, but right yeah. here... Oh my god, I did that too! Did you go the to the drum, drum circle? circle in Venice Beach? Oh, come on! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, it's amazing! Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's great. That's like one of my favorite moments so far from California is the drum circle. Drum circle's yeah. really good. There's a lot of people down, great down yeah, there too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we'll do awkward pause. Do you want okay. to see my kangaroo testicles before sure. you go? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? Those are actual testicles from from a kangaroo. Yeah, the the uh, oh carry small. fish. Yeah, I know. I was kind of surprised. I think that probably after they leave the kangaroo, they shrink. <laughs> But uh, Carrie Fisher went to Australia. You know Carrie Fisher? Huh? Yeah, uh, uh, Princess Leia. She went oh, to yeah. uh, okay. she went to Australia, <laughs> and uh, she was on the show, and she brought me kangaroo testicles oh God, back. So amazing. the next time you're on the show, bring some like walrus testicles. I brought something. something. I brought. You brought walrus no, testicles. No, I was gonna bring you a can of fish oh, to thanks. eat, and but I ate it. Okay. And so I brought. <laughs> IOU for a can of fish. IOU for a can of it's, fish? Yeah. Wow. It's, oh, that it's, is adorable. It's, Look at this. There. I know. I, I saw I, I ate IOU. your fish. <laughs> so next time. Next time next a can time of fish. Ariel Tito, everybody. Thank you.